What's up everybody? So I get asked, how do you figure out repair costs? And I probably get asked that as much as what if you can't find a buyer? At the end of the day, you have to remember you're not a contractor. You're just a wholesaler. You're trying to help the seller move a house that needs work, find a cash buyer. You're being the middleman and you're just selling paper at the end of the day. So most people want to complicate it by thinking they have to have the exact repair amount and if they don't, they can't move the property. So that's not necessary. Um, I can give you the guide that I go by that gives you a pretty good rough estimate of what repairs are. Um, at the end of the day, it's not gonna be perfect and your cash buyer will send their own contractor by to look at it and you know let you know, hey, this is what I can be at and you negotiate your price. So let me give you what I use and see if that helps you. So step one, you gotta get the square footage of the home. Uh, you can go to Zillow, Redfin, Tax Accessor site, wherever you need to go online, but you need to get the square footage of the home. So that way you can have a guide on how to figure out what the repairs are. Then you're gonna break down what kind of repairs does the home need? Level one is cosmetics. It needs just you know paint, maybe carpet, just minor stuff. For those homes, we go with $15 a square foot. So if a home's a thousand square feet, $15 a square foot, it's gonna cost you 1500 bucks to do the repairs on the home. The next level is level two. These ones we go with 25 to 30 bucks a square foot. They need a little more work than just cosmetics. They need facelift. Uh, they may need appliances, updated cabinets, updated bathroom, stuff like that. Those ones we will go with 25 to $30 a square foot. Um, it's a pretty good accurate reading with the way prices are right now because lumber and everything did shoot up. So if you go with 25 to 30 a square foot, you're gonna be in the safe zone. So then you have level three. It's uh, to make the house livable pretty much. Uh, with those, you'll go with 35 to $40 a square foot. It has some major issues. Um, not completely like you have to redo the whole house, but there's major issues to make it livable for someone. So 35 to $40 a square foot is a pretty good, accurate price to go with. So the final level is level four, and it's a complete shit shack house. Like it needs everything. You name it, it needs it. Uh, these are some of the best deals for wholesalers because homeowners at this point, they've gave up on the house. They're like, it's too much for me, it's not worth it. I'm pretty much selling the house for whatever the land's worth that I feel. Um, so on them type of deals, as a wholesaler, you're like, yes, this is gonna be a big gain, hopefully, because I'm taking a junker that nobody wants, and I'm gonna be able to find it to an investor who can hopefully fix and flip it up and make it a livable house for a family. So you're taking a junker and turning it into livable. So for these level four homes, it's between 50 and $60 a square foot uh, for repairs. That's, that's a good rough estimate of being accurate for my experience of three years and as many deals as I've done. Uh, like I said, at the end of the day, we're not contractors. We don't say we're contractors. We're literally just trying to get a good ballpark accurate estimate for our numbers to be able to advertise the contract for sale to find a cash buyer. And so buyers don't laugh at us and think we're jokes because we're so far off. Because at the end of the day, you don't want a cash buyer to look at your deal and your numbers are so whack that they will never look at another deal from you because they don't think you know what you're doing. So... We wanna prevent that as much as possible. Okay, so once you uh, figure out what level of work and repairs it needs and you times it by the square footage, your next goal is to figure out, okay, what price do I need to get this under contract at? So investors wanna make anywhere from 15 to 30% off of a deal. That's what they wanna make, profit. Um, so, and you gotta figure out 6% closing costs on top of the 15 to 30% as well. So your goal is, is to, here's your repair cost, here's your ARV, they want to make 15 to 30%, there's 6% closing, you got to figure out what all that is after you figure out the ARV, then you know what price you need to get the house at based on what you want to make. So if the, if you want to make 20 grand, you need to figure out ARV, take off 15 to 30%, whatever your buyers in your area are buying, some areas is 15, some it's 30 knock off another 6% for closing costs that the buyer is going to eat and then figure out, okay, I will make 20 grand. So you knock off 20 grand. That price way down there, 
as the price you need it under contract for or cheaper. So that way you know it's a deal. You won't get stuck. You won't have to renegotiate. You won't have to terminate. And you can move a deal and make 20 grand, 10 grand. It's up to you what you want to make. There is no set in stone. I have to make 20 grand a deal. I have to make 10 grand. If you want to make three grand, that's what you can do. It's totally up to what the seller wants to give uh, on leeway when it comes to pricing. If a seller won't budge where you need it to be, you just start chopping at what your assignment fee is going to be. And then you come up on price with the seller, it's less you're going to make. But a deal's a deal. If you walk away with three grand or five grand, that's three grand or five grand you never had. And one last rule of thumb that I try to go by is it used to be a five thousand dollar rule. If it needs a bathroom, five grand. If it needs a furnace, five grand. If it needs a roof, five grand. Well, since everything's went up over the last couple of years, I've adjusted that price to, you know, if it needs a bathroom, it's probably gonna run me six to seven grand. If it needs a roof, six to seven grand. If it needs a furnace, six to seven grand. Um that's the numbers I go with just off the top of my head real quick to if I see pictures and access a property because I never look at a property in person. I do all virtual. So I'm literally going off pictures and what the seller tells me it needs. So keep that in mind if you want to do some quick numbers of, hey, it's going to cost, you know, six grand or seven grand uh, for repairs for what this needs. On top of the levels, you can go with the level thing as well. It's whatever way you want to do it. Both are, they work good for me and they have for you know, a few hundred deals. So hope this helps and y'all enjoy your day.